The wine that Christ is going to give you comes from grapes that were grown on a south-facing slope in the kingdom of heaven. Grapes that were picked by Moses and Elijah and Sarah and Rebecca and put into the great vat and stomped down by the perfect sweet feet of angels. You never fear that you're going to run out. Never let your fear of the future prevent you from being the most wonderful and loving person that you can be today. Because in being loving and gracious, you are entering in your relationship with God. And in your relationship with God, you find the hope and the joy and the peace and the wholeness and the healing that you are searching for. And you are hungry. Never be afraid of the future. The Apostle Paul says to us in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 11, God will always make you rich enough to be generous towards every good cause and to have plenty left over for yourself. We are not afraid of the future. We do not succumb to obstacles. We do not run away when there is blame or hopelessness or apathy or discouragement or a fear of the future. We overcome those things to help people in need. That's why we're going to help the people in Haiti. And I want you all to know that we in the church recognize that even though the people in Haiti are in dire need, there is a disaster like Haiti happening every day of every week. Of every year. 30,000 children dying of hunger daily. That's why the church is here. Someone who needs to say to the world, people are always suffering. There are always hungry, dying children. And we don't just give in response to disasters that show up in the news. We give every week with diligence and courage and love and mercy because we are going to change the world, because we are the disciples, we are the people of God. And that's why we keep the church strong in every aspect of its life. We are the only voice which says to the people, look, there are children suffering. There are broken people that need help. That's why the church has to be powerful and significant and respected at all times. And that's why we give to maintain the church. Maybe the world could live for one generation without us. Maybe for two generations. But if the church wasn't here and wasn't strong, after three generations, we would forget every human being is valuable. Every suffering child is our child. Every brother or sister who is grieving is our brother or sister. Every parent who is broken is our mother and our father. We are all bound together by the grace of God, one thing. We need to hold that message before the world or else the world falls apart. Pray that you will respond to the needs of the world every day, overcoming every obstacle, and never being afraid of the future God has prepared for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.